Everybody knows about the Olympics, but do you know anything about the very first U.S. Olympics? They took place in 1904 in the city of St. Louis, Missouri. The games were one part of the World's Fair, which was held at the same time. The 1904 Olympics were an example of rights and responsibilities because people who had the ability to compete had the right to compete because the athletes had the responsibility to abide by their rules. And lastly, the St. Louis Olympic Committee had the responsibility to graciously welcome the world. One thing that made the 1904 Olympics memorable was that even people that had the disabilities could compete if they wanted. In the same events as people who had no disabilities, one of the most decorated athletes had a wooden leg to replace a leg that he lost in an accident. The man's name was George Iser, and the list of his medals is impressive. He won six medals in all. His medals were from men's gymnastics. According to Official Athletes Almanac of 1905 by James E. Sullivan, Iser won a tie for first place in long horse, second place in side horse, second place in all around, first place in rope climb, first place in parallel bars, and second place in horizontal bars. The 1904 Olympics seems very inclusive because a man like George Iser was able to compete with athletes that had all their limbs. He competed in individual events as well as a member of team and he won a lot of times. bad example of the responsibility every athlete had to follow the rules. Arthur Charles Lucas wrote, the perfidy of lures will never be forgotten and the incident marred the greatest athletic carnival of modern times. End quote. Lures competed in the marathon. However, partway through the race, he gave up and was given a ride in a motor vehicle for most of the course. Near the end, he got out and jogged into the stadium past a first-place man, as if he were still in the race and was going to win. The lead runner, named Hicks, saw Lors run past him and it made him want to collapse. But when he found out that Lors had cheated, he got hope again, continued to run, and he won. The story shows that cheating has a negative effect on other athletes and that keeping the rules makes things better for everyone. Olympics, the host country has the responsibility to welcome other nations, and the St. Louis Games were the same. A newspaper article from the Washington, D.C. Even Evening Times reported on the Olympics by writing, The Louisiana Purchase Exposition, not to be thrown open to the world until 1904, foreign countries unable to make good exhibitions at St. Louis in 1903. At first, the fair was supposed to be held in 1903, but the article says that the organizers of the games talked to all the other countries that were participating in the games and fair and decided to set plans back a year so that more people from other countries could attend the Olympics and the fair. The 1904 Olympics were successful and memorable because they allowed athletes to compete as equals, they showed how cheating has a harmful effect on other competitors, and they made big changes in their plans just to welcome the world. While most athletes and visitors were American because others chose not to come, and some things they did at the Olympics seem racist to us today, they were trying their best. The 1904 Olympics form a standard for rights and responsibilities that we celebrate in our modern Olympics today.